the cable splice assures a safe connection between the motor cable and the submersible extension cable. It might be a good idea to perform the cable splicing in your workshop or in a clean and dry environment. For a good cable splice, it is recommended to use appropriate tools. You might consider using the bigger shrinking tube to mark the splicing area. Keep the cable jacket surface clean. The numbers on the motor cable highlight the motor phases. It might be a good idea to write down the matching sequences of the submersible extension cable and the motor phases. A staggered connection of the wires reduces the risk of a short circuit and a weak insulation between the wires. Clean the cable jacket first before mounting the bigger shrinking tube. It might be comfortable to crimp the wires on one cable first and follow with the matching wires thereafter. Make a pull test of the crimping sleeves after the crimping. It might be necessary to double the wire ends of 2.5 square millimeter motor cables. When hitting the shrinking tubes, start from the middle and move slowly toward one end. For a reliable bounding between the shrinking tubes and the wires, make sure the shrinking tubes are well heated over a couple of minutes. Sanding the cable jacket's ends provides a better grip for the thin glue reinforcement and for the bigger shrinking tube as well. Make sure the shrinking tube is centered. Heat up the tube slowly from the middle to the end. The last step consists in testing the insulation of the wall cable. 